Okay, new starter. New starter, new solenoid. Old starter. Old starter, new solenoid. Purring like a kitten. Got it all serviced up. Now let's go in there and check the air. It's running the air right now. It's not plugged up. It's on generator. And the air is on. So let's check the air. What's the air doing? There you go. It's putting out. Hold on. How to pick the brick. See my angle, my neck twisted up. There we go. So you can see the pattern of the air coming out. Let's come down a little bit and do this. It's 90 degrees out. Right now it's putting out 74 as it's bringing it down. You can see that's the air, the ductwork, going down the center of the unit. Here's another, another unit down here, the mid one. Hold on, there we go. Balanced pretty good. Uh, I keep losing it. Sorry, I keep losing it, guys. It's kind of hard to 74 as you see. Now, I got one more unit back here in the back bedroom, and you also see that that's 70. It's putting out at 70. It's a flare device telling temperature. And I turned on the air. This thing is kind of cool. It's a uh, it's automatic. It work, works by a control. If rain hits it, it will cut off. It's a fantastic event if you look at it. It will automatically shut down. Right now it's pulling my cold air out because I've got the air on and I want to just do this video. But if rain hits that, it will close automatically. Now there are multiple vents in here, power vents. There's another fan here and there's one in the bathroom. This one's manual. You just turn it on. But it also has a hood on it so you don't have to close this one. This one can stay open even with the rain coming down. The one in the back will shut down, will shut down um, without the hood on it. And I don't have a hood on that one. I've got a hood on the other, others. This has a skylight in the bathroom. I know you're looking at a skylight in here. And, and there's the other, the typical small fan. And these are just typical bugs trying to get in when they see the light. So you just gotta, take off the screen and clean that no big deal now here's an air in here too and the air in this one is 64 you see it's not corrupted by the outside room so it's 64 and dropping now let's take it for for sport of it let's take a look at the temperature outside so you guys can see how hot it is it's uh 86 degrees so it's dropping. There's a cat. So it's dropping there. Now, looking for leaks and things like that, this thing could find leaks if there were any. And there are none. This is, this roof doesn't have any leaks. It's been a, uh, it's got a new rubber roof on it. Well, when I purchased it and then I'm recoating it now, scrubbing it out. But those are just the wall temperatures without, without leaks. That's one side and it's the heated side where the sun's on right now that you're looking at but there we go let's see what this is pumping out now at as it's been working for a while yep still kicking at uh still has to do its job 60 66 now hold on let me see if i can get that thing centered up right yep 66 67 so it's dropping it's doing pretty good. There's a, it's only got one unit on it. That unit kicks butt. All right. So much for that. I'll add more to the video as I can. But right now I'm gonna shut it down. Oh, it's running on the, running the this guy on HC2. Now I just turned this on, so I'm not sure what temperature we're gonna get. But let's take a quick flash at it. Yeah, it, these things takes hours. These things take hours to cool down. But this one will get a cold. I mean, this thing will be like negative 20 and even less. And it shares down to the compartment below, which is awesome.
kind of noteworthy. The RV is on a slight angle. This is where the water from the AC unit, to get pulling out the humidity, it comes down an edge here and it gets resealed, but then the water clears and falls down. So you want to, uh, you know, make sure you keep that clean, the, the gutter, if you will, because that's where your water runs off. And it's the other side if you lean the motor home the other way. Okay, we're going to do a quick little walk around. Nothing special, I just wanted to put it on there. Got to replace these windows here, they're fogged up. They're the driver and passenger side, they're the primary windows, the rest, even if they do fog up, which all windows do, <coughs> are not really important, but you want to be able to see your mirrors. This is the uh, fuse panel for the vehicle, a lot of the fuses are located there and behind the dash, but this one's pretty clear. It will say this, and it's disconnect cables and batteries before removing cover, blah, 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 RV custom products. Um, it's got air shocks. Air, air shocks, which you load the air up. Right, oh, well, there's the two batteries. Uh, the two batteries there. And here's your air. You load the air up for each bag, if you ever had to change it. But, um, we'll monitor it. Now, just had this service. I think I just spoke of that already. Here you can start this exteriorly with the switch behind this panel, or interiorly. So behind the panel here would be right here. Simple little start button. As a breaker, it turns your 30 amps on or off. So walk around and we'll come back to that. I'm not gonna cut the video so you'll see. There's a new starter and new coil. Pass through, storage, beautiful tires, beautiful tires, um, outdoor shower. Shower goes there, you hang it there while you're using it outdoor. No more storage, little small area. Water tank storage, huge storage, more storage. More storage up front. As you can see, it passes through. This is the outdoor carpet that passes through, you can't tell. But let's go ahead and start it up, that generator. So here's your disconnect battery. So I'll put the extra battery on. Easy start. Now, the car is started. That light will come on above my right hand. Now it started. The battery that started the, that generator is also the car battery. So now you see that it, uh, it's, it hasn't been running in a while. But when you start it, the alternator gives it the boost to start the generator. Well, let's go ahead, brakes are on. Let's go ahead and show you that that generator is running and I started from inside. It's kind of cool to show it that way. Hey, while we're here though, look at the steps. You close it, automatic. Just put a new, um, lever on there too it one, one for a lot more smooth flow so that's got a brand new level lever it's a linkage they call it coming over here that's a brand new starter so you hear it running you also see the cars running but you see this is running now let's go ahead and shut it down so this is Probably not a good idea to try to start it again, but um, right immediately, but we'll go ahead and do it. And now there you go. So just fire your vehicle up if you ever if you ever wonder, you know, why it's not starting. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't get all crazy. But I'm gonna leave this in the video for good uh, for good tip for anyone who does a purchase. Here's your water heater. Um, okay, this is what the guy left behind. He just service that for me but that was my jump kit that he had out there because he was ran the battery down messing around i guess but no big deal always leave a jump kit on here even though you've got the extra batteries leave a jump kit you don't want to be stranded in a motorhome and believe me we do stupid things we forget to forget we got a battery on and we're running a different battery and the car is not on the ignition is on whatever it may be but she's quiet as a mouse smooth no tick 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 nothing like that there's your AC unit nothing crazy going on like that and of course we've got clean windshields love this for the uh, anti rocks coming up and things like that people spend thousands of dollars for this invisible shield they put on motorhomes now whereas I don't know why I don't go back to this it's not it's not unsightly it's 
allows for all the rocks in the world to pop up and you're okay. Um, awning. This thing has a beautiful awning. You just hook it with the hook that's inside here and pull it out. There's your, over here is your, your tank, your uh, propane tank. There's more storage, but there's a simple little hook that you grab. Oh yeah, and there's your, uh, your smart wizard, your Intel stuff. That's brand new. Well, brand new. It's probably five years old, but don't don't run, don't run it much. But as simple as hooking. Oh, right. You don't see me doing it. There's an outdoor light too, and there's an outdoor light on the other side. But as simple as hooking this up, pulling that down. Once you have it in reach, you can remove it, grab it by your hand, and now you go out even further if you like. Oops, just kick something. Now you go out even further, and there's your awning. There's another outdoor light on this side if you're over there. The lights in the bottom of this garden the compartments too. Lights are down here also, but there's an exterior light right there. That's your exhaust fan for your bathroom. Power mirrors. And going inside again. Oh, we already went inside, didn't we? But let's go inside again. Screen door. This is where you put your microwave, whatever it may be. I took it out and used it, you're using it in the house. They're simple. You just put any microwave or convection oven you like in there. Um, it's got plenty of lighting. Plenty of lighting going on. Another light there. Um, AC unit. Now this is the bedroom and I trashed it because I was, we were just cleaning out the, the fan there. Now that's a remote fan. It will shut off automatically when rain hits it. How's the bathroom work? Well, you, you open this door. And it's not a small bathroom because now we're into a major bathroom. We've got lights above here. We've got lights here. We've got lights here. So it's pretty well lit. You've got your shower stall. You've got your adjustable rod here. Um, I, I, did, I did not use this. I just use it for urinating rarely. But I just still pull over. Unless you're at a campground, then you still go to the other place. There's your storage for your is it light it light inside the closet also for your clothes rack that's just to keep everything fresh um, plenty of plenty of clean storage down there when I say clean no water damage or anything else like that um, more storage here these all have a hook on them so when you're driving down the road it can't come off you, you just simply dump and slide out and they just push it back in this normal way but this bathroom is large it's not small unless you just close yourself into it now there's another light here on the wall that you flick to turn the light on and let's see if we can start shutting another cabinet so let's go ahead and shut some of this stuff down and then there's your master oh this just simply hooks while you're driving you just hook it yeah i gotta clean that out it's got bugs in it i didn't get to that one yet I got to the other ones bugs you know they like the light they try to make their way down when you got the light in here uh, plenty of storage there just cleaning everything out here are the drawers the drawers I took them out to just check in there clean in there everything else everything's nice and clean um, this is where your water is for the back of your tub you can see there's no damage there sorry about the lighting guys the best I can do there there's your heating your duct heating um, there's AC up top. Um, and they do get moisture around them, so nothing to cry about. You know, you gotta realize it is a two things there. Now, this is that remote, but that's real easy to clean. Uh, this is the remote for the fan that you automatically set it to humidity. Um, this was an add on that I added on the motorhome. So, right now it's at automatic and it's 60 10. Let's see what happens when I take it all the way up. Tell it at 100. Now you see it shut down automatically, and it's going to close automatically. Fan's going to stop, and let's see it start to close. I guess I didn't tell it to close, did I? Oh, I got it 85%. I didn't quite tell it. I didn't quite tell it to close. Let's say uh, off. Oh. 
now she's closing automatically. Well, she's closing because I set it down. Now, if rain hits it, it closes automatically. But anyway, you can be in bed and just open your fan or not open your fan. But you can be in bed there and windows open and it starts to rain. A little bit of drizzle hits that. It doesn't come down and damage the fan or land on you. It starts shutting down. And it's going to stop with a mat. Nice seal. Now, this is the other side. You can have your privacy back here or you can open it up. This goes out to be a bed. I do have the chair and the table. The chair for this. Chair and tables. That goes on the center there, but I was recarpeting that. Um, that's recarpeting that. And oh, I guess I can shut it off. I don't know if I got the generator on. Yeah, the generator's still on. So the generator is on now. Can you hear it in the background? Let me see. Not to be confused with an air conditioner over there. Anyway, so it jumps automatically to AC right here. AC auto. Now let me put on this flare device and show you again. I think I have it in another part of the video. Let's see what kind of temperature it got in there. I, I, don't, I don't know what I did as far as leaving it on. The past 10 minutes, so when did I plug it up? Let's take a look. Yeah, there it is already, 432 degrees. See the top reading, left? Popped at 32. So, that's how badass that is. That's, I mean, the uh, refrigerator is pretty cool. Now, on this one, we just top left, 91, and still coming down. Now, this thing will get, you can get this freezing too. That thing will drop down to 40, 30 degrees off. So, it becomes a little freezer if you don't control your settings up here. But you got to wait a few hours for it to get, for it to balance the temperatures in both of these. And then you'll know what your refrigerator is. That thing is always awesomely freezing. It is the freezer. It doesn't have a non-freezing freezer. That thing freezes all the time, as I recall. Now, um, I checked this, there are no leaks. When you go around with this device, it would have found leaks. And it, we just had the air running and no leaks around it. Uh, did seal the roof. And let's see, it's a rubber roof. But over here, oops, what the hell is that? Oh, light bulb, changing two bulbs. Changing two bulbs, which are gonna be in that light there. Um, little storage, little nothing, this is Practically like new money, never used. I used it one time, ever. There's a fan that pumps it out. Big powerful fan, guess if you're cooking here, you don't want a soft fan. And that's the low, the low setting. There's your pilot to turn on your water heater. Here's your light for this area too. But just put that cover down and it becomes a nice place to a station. So you can't, you turn on the water, nothing, right? Well, there's a button here. This turns on all, there's your pump. And so there we come. Give it a second, because I had it off. All right, there's your pump, nice and smooth. It's a little pump, no big deal. It does give you good pressure. Um, and there it is smooth now. So if you want to kill it this way, I can. I think that's how I got the air gap in there a moment ago, because I didn't kill it here first. Um, TV went in there, but you, know, don't, you can't drive with the TV there. <coughs> Excuse me, you can't drive with the TV up front. So I use it for my storage and my bags, things like that. More storage, more storage everywhere. That's where VCR went or whatever you want there. I mean, who uses a VCR anymore, right? I actually have one though. Um, more storage to your left, more storage to your right. Um, that's kind of cool. You can't, I put the TV over here when I'm, when I got an LED TV, real low, low scale one. And I got rid of an electric that was up here, a, a DC current, an electric rather, I changed it to DC. Plug this in, right? And then I transfer to a um, an adapter. Where did it go? The kind you plug in it and you get a little electric, little low voltage electric, like a. Uh, huh. Where did it go? It walked away. It was right there. I plug that in and I can get my light. I can plug my TV up over here. A LED TV, and it's awesome. Of course, if I need to just plug it in, that's when I'm running on battery though when I'm not running my generator. If I'm running my generator, I got 110 everywhere. 110. 110's down there, so if you're up here, sitting here, enjoying yourself, there's, there's a 12 volt plug too. You can have a laptop there. There's electric there. And these things, you got tons of electric. There's electric here. There's electric in here. Ah, uh, great, hold on. Electric there. There's electric on that side of the bed. There's electric on that side of the bed. There's a lamp, reading lamp, another reading lamp. 
two more lights under here for reading ceiling light ceiling light this thing is not lacking in lights um i changed some of them out to super leds these real funky leds as opposed to this 12 volt i went to it's still 12 volt but i went to an led um system that's pretty damn expensive but they what they use a little a lot less battery a lot less than these two like this is uh 15 watts each they go there that's 30 watts right and when you're doing on when you're running on your battery you want to you want to have this thing figured figured out here's your uh your battery disconnect as you get out of the rv so you don't accidentally leave it on when you walk away and going out there playing in the water and you come back and you and your rv's dead because you you're running on battery and you left some things on in here um, so that's what that little disconnect is for. Most of them have it. A lot of RVs have it. Um, this is a carbon monoxide tester. It tells you uh, yeah, it tells you it's okay to run the heater as long as that's working. If this LP gas does not, if this if this ever fails, you're not going to get your heaters to come on. That's a that's a system that's got to be run first before it lets you turn on your hot water heater, for example. It's a pretty pretty nice system. There's a simple off off reset button simple little thing it will beep, 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 beep when you uh, turn it on so it's checking now it's telling you gas is on that everything's okay um, what a little knife is it um, plenty of storage again um, everything's designed to lock up nice PVC applied and plumbing let's see over here more storage more large storage down there put the flooring in because I like it better and the carpet I left up there just to whatever I left it up there but I, I think I'll recarpet that like I said this flips out to a bed you uh, pull on it simply with my hand and now it folds out to a beautiful bed I actually find this more comfortable than the other bed the one in the back especially with my TV right there and you're relaxing you put your pillows here and you just crash out you know, you climb on out to go to the bathroom or not. Here's a light going up and down the steps. Um, I think that is uh, your luggage lights. Your, um... Oh, left it on. Killed that battery. Killed that light. So here's the other one. You come in. It's at nighttime. You're coming in. It's dark. You click that on. Um, porch light right there. So you can find yourself in the middle of the night. You're trying to find yourself when you go out to the bathroom or whatever you're doing. Um, this kills the entry steps. Um, this is the luggage racks. When you uh, you know all your luggage lights are on down below, powers to them, so you don't want to leave them on. That's why they brighten this up. That's what I'm talking about. When you walk away, and you next you know you're coming back to a dead motorhome. This lights on. Your luggage lights are on. If you don't have the generator or, or it's not plugged up, you're burning down your battery. So that's that's the significance of that. Okay, I gotta remember to pull pull that out and do the bulb on it. Yep, you can see it's burned. So I'll simply throw a new bulb in that, along with the other two bulbs there. Um, ceiling light, right? So I'll keep that off. What else can I tell you? Kind of cool, nice little screen. Put that down there, shade. Now you got a shade and you can relax. You have a little cook to come in. Um, little, you think it's nothing to eat you up. The things that hold, you know, paper plates. Don't ever buy the cleaning plates. Use paper plates. Use plastic, harder plastic paper plates if you like, but but don't be bothered with uh, with uh, dishes, you know, knives, forks, and some other little stuff you need. But cook outdoors. You know, grab your barbecue grill, have a little mini grill, and cook outdoors. That's the way we did it. Or just buy some food and hang out and enjoy some food, however you however you like it. But that's the way we roll. All right. Take care, guys. Hope this is helpful. There's this AC units. I think I'm showing that as part of this video, too, as, a, as an edit. Take care. Thanks for looking. And the price, I'm sorry, the price is uh, where it is. It's a great price. You see them online. You now walk through everything. Oh, these are cool. I added these. They're like $200 each, so they're not cheap. But they're, um, and there's one on the side. So you're driving. That sun, this little bit of, they give you, a, of course they give you a, um, well, these guys that pull down, you know, to help you block the shade, the night one too. But this is awesome. Pull it down and you're sitting here and that's all you need to see the road. All this blocks that light. That sunlight is coming in when you're driving into the sun. That will save you. 
Oh, it's got nice music too. You're indoor, you, you'll hit this park, right? So we're parked. Now I can turn the radio on. <laughs> that's using the battery too. See, Let's that, see. That, that, that's out. Let's see. Great music, the sound from Let's go with that, a little bit of jazzy. Oh, uh, right now we're at um, 21.687. She's going out this next weekend, unless somebody buys it by then. Oh, that's good music, huh? Dan and Anna. There it is there. And so, curtains wrap all the way around. Always going to meet in the center with this one too. Center line. And then... You hear it back here too. And let me see something. Right there. It's right in the bedroom. You can enjoy some music. And there's your lights. You enjoy some music. There's your lamp by the bed there as you're sleeping. And you can see it's got one, two, one, one, the left one, or that, you know, different wattages. Ooh. You can change those out to something newer if you like. You do what you want to do. Switch the master switch to turn it off. All right. That's the end of this show. Coffee cup holders, AC unit up front. Oh. So holding tanks, this tells you it's empty now, nothing's in there, one and two tank, meaning poop and urine basically, clean white, black water, gray water, um, it's telling you, I'm pretty much empty on the water tank, I probably got 20 gallons in there, LP is full, that's another plug for plugging in whatever you want to plug in, and again I use that, let me do this, I use, I'm turning it off, and let me kill this, so look, to kill this, listen to how it cuts off, don't be scared, it goes, yeah. It's a flywheel, and that's how she cuts off. There's nothing wrong. And let's see if we, how, if it charged the battery by chance. Let's check that. Sure did. You heard it kick in, and that's the light showing it's on. So that's a nice little welcome change. It's but I want to turn it off. Here's another. Here's another uh, plug for doing it. There's your brake controller, which I've never used. Um, I've never towed anything. Power mirrors left and right nice beautiful dash if you got a cat the cat would love to climb up there there's your hour meter just had it serviced and you know what I just did 387 hours it's all it's on that generator three thousand dollar generator again back to the price the price is a uh, firm because it's such a nice vehicle I mean come on guys you can't even buy a car for this amount this amount of money and you can go ahead and sell it when you're done you turn it off you can go ahead and press the lightning bolt and it's off you can't buy a car for this price a little uh, for your magazines the seats fully roll around there's your magazines on this side too the seats rotate around so you can enjoy you know this angle of a nice comfortable seat with uh, seat covers um, I think I might leave that out that piece that goes there well you guys can you can have it but here's the it's, it's got a couple of it's kind of nice. It's got a couple of drawers that go with it. It goes like this. Let's give you an idea real quickly. It goes like that. The true drawers go in there. Kind of nice for, you know, your laptop or whatever. So maybe I'll put it back. But yeah, I'll put it back. Yeah, it works nice. Put your keys there and everything else the way I normally did. All right. Um, you just take it up when you're looking on the servicing. And I had the guy servicing everything, checking everything out. Engines underneath of there. This one I'll recarpet though. So let me put that over there. As you can see, you know, no water damage or anything like that. This stuff is all in great condition. So you'll be getting a nice motor home. You know, you can do your own little things. Um, thanks again. Oh, I know. Here, here's that device, guys. I said I just simply plug it up and then I get a 110 out of it. And there's the end of it. That's my boat. I carry a little uh, rubber raft, a float floatable raft. When I say little, it's it can take like a thousand pounds of load weight. So as I open the door, I'm sorry about the focus. That's kind of cool. 